And welcome to the Home to Suites Yakima Airport here in Washington State. And this is going to be a room tour of a two queen suite, I think they call it. So we'll start off as we always do with uh, the entrance here. So you've got your eye hole so you can see sort of who's coming a calling if anybody's outside. And it's nice that they've got this cover here that blocks out the light, uh, although it a little finicky. So it won't totally block out the light just the way that that's uh, there, but uh, that's good for when you're trying to sleep so you don't have a light. You got your evacuation plan there, and over here you have the security features on the door. You have the deadbolt and this extra lock here in addition to the normal locking mechanism, so that's nice for some extra security there. Uh, let's go check out the bathroom. So this is a home to suites. Master, that's kind of cool. No. No. Okay. Oh, okay. So they'll learn those lights. Uh, so that got this area. Let's see. How do we. Okay. I'll probably be a fan. Okay. So, anyways, uh, this is the bathroom here. So let's take a look. Uh, we have uh, zero. Uh, was that facial cleanser? Face soap, yes. Uh, so that's one thing I noticed is that the Hilton brands seem to be phasing away from Neutrogena and towards this new Zero brand, which isn't bad. Uh, and then there is some facial tissue, otherwise known as Kleenex there. And we've got a couple of plugs. And so Home 2 Suites is a Hilton brand, which means we're going to see tons of power. We're probably not going to need our Tron power cube on this particular stop. But if you are staying in a non-Hilton property, we strongly recommend bringing the Tron power cube whenever you travel so you have enough outlets to charge all your devices. And so over here you've got the sink that seems to be in really good condition, nice modern design. And over here we have some face cloths, which is nice, looks like four of them. It's interesting that they're not all like kind of the same texture. So uh, not important, but kind of unusual. And so down here we have some full size towels, uh, some hand towels there as well as one here, which is nice right by the sink. Toilet paper, waste paper basket, and we have a toilet it's one of those with two buttons. So one will be for liquid waste and one will be for solid. Otherwise, it's a pretty standard toilet. And you've got three hooks over here. Uh, so you can hang things like towels or what have you, clothes, maybe a bathing suit, because there's a pool at this location. We'll try to get you some footage a little bit later of the pool. And here we have the shower stall. So there's a couple of shelves there and there's a grab bar. Let's test that out. That's really solid. That's good. Let's check the shower head. Always like to look at the shower head, see how clean they are. So. It's not immaculate, but that's just water staining, so I have no concerns about showering here. And as I said, they are shifting away from Neutrogena products, it seems, towards this Zero. So they've got uh, conditioner, shower gel, and shampoo from these dispensers, uh, so rather than the individual bottles. I imagine this produces a little less plastic waste, but I kind of like the little bottles. I kind of miss them. There's the control for the shower there, and the shower itself is very clean. Pretty pristine there. So that's the bathroom, nothing too complicated. Uh, let's check. There's just a drawer and there we go. There's the Home 2 Suites by Hilton and you're gonna have your blow dryer in there. It's a Con Air 1875 blow dryer. So that was the bathroom. Now this uh, has sort of a bit of a kitchenette going on here. So we seem to have a fridge with a freezer. This is a Danby. Take a look there. So this looks like the fridge compartment. Much larger than the fridges you would normally get at a regular old hotel. So this is almost sort of an extended stay type deal. And that's the freezer. It's kicking off quite a bit of cool air there. It's actually freezing my toes a little. And so we've got a do not disturb sign here, which is nice. Not every hotel these days seems to have them, so I do appreciate that. And there are some dishes. You've got some plates and bowls and some accoutrements for coffee making. And there is the coffee maker. That's a Cuisinart. And we have a sink. And we have a cute little thing here of palm olive uh, dish soap and a towel there. And that's a stopper for the drain. That looks like it is a garbage disposal, potentially. Let's, uh, let's test. Yeah, that's a garbage disposal, and that's loud and scary sounding, so I'm going to leave that off. Sounded like it was trying to break up metal. As soon as I turn that on, I'm not touching that again. Uh, I don't generally use a garbage disposal, though, so I'm not too familiar with them. Uh, we've got a substantial Frigidaire microwave here. That is big and substantial. And we have a dishwasher, Frigidaire dishwasher as well. 
And of course, there's a couple more power outlets and some glasses and coffee mugs. So that's kind of nice, kind of kitchenette sort of thing. And so we're gonna move into sort of the main area here, get a little bit more light happening if I can. And before I go too far, two more plugs here in the entrance, tiny little scuffs on the wall, nothing to be concerned about. And this is the air conditioner control. So it's all got a very modern uh, look to it. Looks like it's pretty new technology. So we've got our sort of sitting area here. And so this has a regular three-prong plug as well as a USB. That'll be a USB-A port there, in case you're wondering. Uh, so there is a full-length mirror, some art on the wall, and of course this couch. I believe this couch would probably be a pull-out couch. We can take a quick look. Yeah, yeah, that's a pull-out couch. So you got a pull-out couch there. Got another light over here. Let's brighten the place up. And there's a curtain here, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the home suites I stayed at in Edmonton had something very similar. This curtain's a little thinner, a little lighter than the one in that location, but you can kind of create your own sort of living room space with a little bit of privacy. Maybe if you wanted to, you know, kind of hang out here and uh, not wake uh, anyone sleeping over there or, if, you know, sleep people sleeping here and over there. And so here's the TV, and that's my name. <laughs> so my name is Raymond. Welcome to Vacation Impossible. We've got a desk here. And again, it's a home property. Power, power, power. So you got four three-prong outlets right there. You got a little space. You can put some things up there if you were here for a while. Probably wouldn't be too useful on a shorter stay, but you never know. Throw some uh, snacks up there or something. I don't know. Uh, it's not super deep secure. I wouldn't put a backpack up there, but, you know, little things. And there is the bucket for ice, and you get a little bin liner bag there to put the ice in. And so here's a chair for this desk, and this is on casters, so this rolls out. And uh, oh, it looks like something got left behind. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's not alive, I don't think. So that's, that's something. That's important. <laughs> Let's check the drawers over here under the TV. They slide nice and easy, very quiet, and they are deep. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And then over here we have extra bedding. So the idea here is that there's extra bedding primarily for the pull-out couch. But if you want to need to use extra bedding in the queen beds, you certainly can. So let's take a look at the bedding area here. And again, Hilton property, two three prongs and a USB-A. And another outlet up here. And then there's this light. So that's nice. Got a, got a sort of shelf on sort of all sides of the bed, which is great. And I've got a little uh, sort of a cushiony chair ottoman thing there. And you've got your garbage and recycling. Garbage on the left, recycling on the right. And then more sort of shelving stuff here. Probably a bunch more empty drawers. Cupboard. And more cupboard action here. So if you are going to be staying here for an extended period of time, there's plenty of space, which is quite nice. And so you've got this kind of closet here. This is interesting. So again, it's one of these sort of uh, curtains, uh, which you can use to kind of conceal whatever you've got in here. And so inside this uh, sort of wardrobe closet thing, of course, you've got your hangers and you've got your iron, laundry bag, a thing to put your luggage on and an ironing board all kind of in there. Yet another light. There we go. And there's that AC unit. Remember, the AC unit is controlled all the way back there. Let's take a quick look here at the center nightstand. You got a clock and wireless charging. Look at that. That's pretty fancy. And in addition to the wireless charging, you've got another three prong outlet. You've got a couple more USBs. This says iPad, iPod, iPhone. Uh, you can probably use whatever with that, but I'm suspecting that is specifically if you want this to play music from those devices. Um, but th that's probably good for charging as well. You got another three prong outlet, another USB-A. Let's pop that light on. And there is the phone. So again, this is the Home Two Suites by Hilton. And this is at West Knob Hill Boulevard in Yakima, Washington State, America. These are queen beds. Each one has three pillows, so that's pretty good. Some places we go gives you four pillows per, per bed. I'm fine with that. I only ever need one for myself personally. Another plug. <laughs> and two more three-prong plugs and another USB-A. Power, 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 power. <laughs> Hilton empowers you. So, and here we've got the window. So you've got the blackout curtain there, but you've also got sort of the privacy screen. Let's see what kind of a view we have here at this Home Two Suites. Okay, so there's an ambulance. That's a little weird. Uh, that's somebody's backyard. 
And again, some sort of hills in the distance there. That almost looks like a school, I think. Uh, so, you know, the view, I mean, the views aren't very important to us, honestly. Let me know in the comments. Do you care a lot about views? You can kind of see the neighborhood there. Stay tuned. We're going to see about showing you the pool and other amenities here at the hotel. But if you have found this video useful at all, please give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. That helps us. Helps other people find the video, too. Let me know in the comments. Does this look like a nice place? Would you stay here? Personally, I am very impressed. I have virtually nothing critical to say other than a tiny little scuff. Honestly, this seems really nice to me. I think I'm going to be pretty happy here. I'm happy to stay here. But let me know in the comments. Have you stayed here? What was your experience? And if not, based on what you see, would you stay here? Let us know. And stay tuned for a look at the pool and some other areas. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to Vacation Impossible, this channel here. We do room tours like this. We do tours of cruise ships. We show you how to save money when you travel. Little travel tips that'll help you travel smarter so you can travel more often and maybe discover some out-of-the-way hidden gems that you wouldn't have otherwise enjoyed. So thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video. But first, First, the pool. pool.